Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe, you don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so this week has really hit me hard to think that actually it's okay that you're not okay. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But say it to yourself, it's okay that you're not okay through whatever you're going through. Now, as we move into the holiday season, the festive season, the Christmas period, whatever you call it, it's a very, very magical and very special time of the year, one of my favourites. But it also brings with it a lot of emotion, raw emotion, especially if you've ever lost anyone. This year in May, I lost my grandmother, my nan, who is my world, is everything to me. I've been blessed, my goodness, I've been blessed in this life with an incredible family and very, very precious parents. But my nan, losing her, has really turned my world upside down. And not just that, but I've not been happy through many different aspects of my life at the moment and where I want my career to be. I think your 20s can be such a pressured, and it doesn't have to be society pressurising you, it doesn't have to be peer pressure of your friends, the people around you, it can just be the pressure we put on ourselves to achieve. And for example, in your 20s to your later 20s, where I find myself at now, is having a property, buying your first home, being at a certain level in your career, having that top job, all of those things which the amount of pressure we put on ourselves, yes, is for our own control, but I've been pretty mean to myself and throw on the loss of my grandmother, which has turned my life upside down and just being slightly low in mood, it really can be difficult. And do you know what? Very often I walk around with all of that on my shoulders and I know a lot of people do too. It's just the way of life. And I think it's a really, it's almost like this 21st century sort of thing, isn't it? That you walk around, then especially men, it's, it's almost seen that you can't talk about things, what's going on in your head. You can't talk about this because, okay, you don't want to be seen as weak. Okay, you don't want to be seen as emotional. You don't want to be seen anything different than this hard exterior, which we paint ourselves as, that we must face every single day, straight back, shoulders, smile. And that's what I do. But then when you think about it, there is only so long you can keep that whole persona going for. And this week, to be quite honest with you, Probably a few days prior to that, it's all come crashing down. And I have feeling the, I've probably felt the lowest I've ever probably felt, to be quite honest with you. The loss of my grandmother is really knocked home, is really hit home to me. And I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm heartbroken. But what I'm feeling is real and true. And it's because of how much that person means to us. But here, I'm not just talking about bereavement. I'm not just talking about loss. I'm actually saying to you that it's okay of how you're feeling. It's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to not feel like you want to face every single day of a smile and the full joys of spring, which we're told to in this period of, of the year and coming into the festive season. It's okay to feel the way you do. And sometimes letting ourselves actually feel things is one of the hardest things. And um, for me, I'm the one to take control. I'm the one to run with things. Again, that sort of straight back, that sort of, you must hold yourself in a certain way. You must carry yourself in a certain way. You must speak in a certain way. You must not let things bother you. You must carry on. Um, whether that be just a British thing, I don't think it is. It's a thing which we do. It's a thing which we adopt. Um, I have very strong-willed parents and incredible parents will listen to me and, and really, really are just there. And that's just the thing. And listen, but there is a time where I actually think that, do you know what? No, I'm not going to burden you with this. It's, for example, the person I choose to speak to is my parents. I'm very, very close with them. Um, my mum and my dad, I speak to about everything. Um, and it's, and it's sort of a different, and it's for different things, for emotions and how I'm feeling and in life and things. It's mum. If it's for advice, if it's for how do I kind of get out of this problem or advice and things like that, it's dad. But you know what? My mum has lost her mum. Even though I've lost my nan, it's her mum she's lost. And I see the pain she goes through at times. And I see that look just in her eye without her saying anything. So I thought this week that I'm not going to do that. My family, yes, I love them dearly, but they don't need to hear me like this. And yes, they do to a certain extent, but I'm not going to keep doing it to them. So this week I took it on my own head to speak with a reverend from my nan's funeral service who I met, who was incredible. And and it was a, a beautiful, if you can even call it that, it was a, it was a a beautiful commemoration to my nan's life and how the order of service was conducted was brilliant. So, and he always said that I could, I could 
um, I could approach him again if I needed help and support throughout dealing with this with my grandmother. And I thought, you know what, a week ago I wrote an email and everything what I just felt, to be quite honest with you, come out in the email. And I actually visited the Reverend at um, at, our, uh, at a local church in my town centre where I spent a lot of time. And um, that was yesterday. And you know what, it was almost like that it's not healed all these thoughts, it's not solved all these feelings and emotions, but it's helped me kind of put them in boxes. And now I have more clarity and and I have that, that sort of the tools to kind of help me deal with things. But it, it, it really did make me realise that what I'm feeling, it's, it's how you're supposed to feel after you lose somebody who is your world. And it's not just, it's a huge part of that, but I'm just not feeling me in my own life at the moment. The Christmas season is a fantastic, amazing, amazing time of my life. I love it. It's so magical and it brings, I always say miracles happen every single day. And that comes from my favourite Christmas film, believe it or not. But I really do believe that we should open ourselves up and we should give everything to life. But there comes a time when you just can't do that because of what's happened in life. And that's where I am right now. That's where I am right now. The Christmas season, Christmas will still be amazing, um, absolutely fantastic and magical. I just won't have my nan there. She'll be up with the Lord. But for me, what gets me through is faith. What gets me through is my parents, my family. For others, it won't be that. So my message is to tell you that it's okay to feel the way you're feeling and it's okay that you're not okay. Tomorrow is another day. And you know what? We get good days, we get bad days. But sometimes it's just letting ourselves feel what we're going through in the moment it can just give you more clarity, can give you more space to breathe just by letting yourself feel what's going on. Stop blocking it out. Stop putting it aside. And not, I'm not telling you to own up to these things. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm, I'm telling you to give yourself time to experience and to feel these things you're, you're experiencing, these feelings, these thoughts. It's important that we do, because believe you me, when you bottle this all up and you walk around with it, it is such a burden on yourself. And it not only takes time away from you, and at the end of the day, all the worry in the world is not going to add a day onto our life. And it's just, it's its almost harming you to the point where if you get so low, it's really difficult to get back up to where your sort of, your self is or your happy self should be. So my point is just that, to be quite honest with you. It's okay that you're not feeling on top of the world today because tomorrow is another and it might well be better, but if it's not, let yourself deal with it naturally. Let yourself feel these feelings, these emotions, these thoughts. And sometimes it's downright difficult and sometimes it's quite frightening to be quite honest with you as well. But feel these things and tell yourself, tell yourself right now, I'm having a bad day and that's okay because that's what life is all about, isn't it? If it was just one great big fun roller coaster all the time, wouldn't be life, would it? It certainly wouldn't. These things are sent to test us and test us they do, but I think they have a way of making us stronger. My nan always used to say, these things are sent to try us and try us they do, my love. And I like to think that through her words and through her and through her cherished statements and these wonderful, wonderful memories, that I gain strength through what my own personal experiences and my own kind of personal I'll even call it that horror because that's what it's been this year, losing someone I love so dearly. So to you, my message is on this weekend, it's okay to feel the way you do. Let yourself breathe, let yourself experience what you're experiencing. Tomorrow is another day and my very best wishes and love and support for someone you've never even met, but someone who truly cares. Just remember that it's okay to feel the way you do. It's okay not to be okay. With that, Remember, strength. <laughs> strength through being alive, well, and every single day is precious. Okay, so my very best wishes to you, and I'll be seeing you real soon. And just remember, don't bottle it up. Don't try and paper over something which is not true. Don't try and tell yourself that it's okay. If somebody sometimes turns around and asks you that, are you okay? Be honest. Say, actually, I'm not feeling myself today. And just sometimes just letting that out, just a little bit at a time, can make all the difference. Okay, so from my heart to yours, very best wishes to you. Stay well, stay healthy, and 
lastly, it's okay to feel the way you do. My very best wishes to you, and until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye-bye now.